Hey there, it's Kathy Howes with Be Creative with Kathy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and um, I like to do card tutorials here for you. So today I have a really cute fun fold card. Now this is the card that inspired me. I went to a shoebox swap and I apologize, I don't even remember the lady's name that um, this was her card that I made. So the shoebox swap, you bring all your stuff and you make each other's cards so you come with the you know, stuff to make 12 cards and you go home one with each of everybody's card. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I did for this card. Like I said, look, and I um, really like this fold, so I thought I'd do it here for you and show you how. So um, let me keep going. Now, Phoebe Bigelow, she's a friend of mine. She sent me this card. I've showed it to you before. If you watch my videos, you've seen this card before, but I absolutely love this card. And I thought this would be a good card front for this card. So I'm gonna case Phoebe's card and of course we're going to use that dainty flowers designer series paper I'm sure you've seen it if you're on YouTube if you're on Facebook it's all over it's one of the celebration freebies so if you spend $50 here in the US on anything in the catalog you can get this paper for free and then you take um, you know designs like this and of course these two and you cut them down to the right size. They make excellent card fronts just like Phoebe did here. So I've cut, let me see which one's small enough. This one, I've cut this down. This is three and a, three fourths, three and three fourths by five. And that's gonna work on the perfect for the front of our card. So we're gonna use this one. But look how cute this one is. Hang on, I have something to show you here. I made one like this. Look how cute this card is with that other card front. And then again, I love using that, let me find it here, Wildflower Path stamp set with this designer series paper. I think it matches really nice. So we're gonna do that again, but look how cute that fun fold is. These words here are from the Happy Labels stamp set, which is in the mini catalog, the current mini catalog right now, and it coordinates or it comes bundled with a punch. And so we're gonna use that pick a punch today. I love this punch bundle set. So we're gonna use that too. And then we'll use that go to go to greetings and I'll show you that later. And you know I love the go to greetings. It has everything you need when you need a greeting. But um, I think first we're gonna do all of our stamping. So um, first thing I have here, just like Phoebe now, instead of, I believe this is the, <coughs> excuse me, scalloped contour dies that she used here, but I'm gonna use that punch. So first thing I'm gonna do, and I don't know if you can see the glare, there, it's a pretty good view. I'm gonna use this one here, this size. And on this punch, it either punches half inch, three fourths of an inch, or one inch. So let me take my scrap of basic white here, and I'm gonna just cut it down so it's an inch wide. I don't know how long it is, it doesn't matter because it's just a scrap. But now I know it's a wide, or inch wide so to fit in my punch. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my punch, take my paper in there, slide it in there just like that. I'm gonna turn it over to make sure that my paper's all the way in my punch and that it's centered the way I want it. And then when I punch that little piece out, I'm even gonna save that little piece there. We're gonna use it in just a second. So now I'm gonna stamp my words on there and I need my Stamp and pierce mat. I don't have it. Oh well, I'll use. I have my mat here from my stamp rattus. Because we're using photopolymer or clear stamps, I want to make sure I have that cushion here. So that's what I'm going to use. Like I said, this is from my stamp rattus, and I'm going to take one of those little grid papers. There we go. Now we're set. Okay, take my paper here. I'm going to use this time, just like Phoebe, that evening evergreen ink to match the paper that's gonna coordinate. So here, I'm gonna open up my ink pad here, grab those words. I want the words that say, I'm so happy you were born. Let me bring that stamp back in so you can see the sentiments that are on that. So I'm gonna take my stamp here and I'm gonna line it up, try to get it straight. Ha uh ha. -huh and kind of so it looks good according to this side, not according to this side, we're gonna punch that side to make it fit. But I'm gonna take it here, I'm gonna hold that, let that ink just sink in a little bit, not a lot of pressure, I don't wanna smush the stamp, I just wanna get a good image. And then, ooh, look, I think I did pretty good, shazam. 
Then I'm going to take, let me close this so I don't put my hands in there, that little scrap of paper again and find my pencil. But let's see if you can see better if I take this off. But I'm going to lay that little piece of paper about where I think it makes my sentiment centered. And then just with the pencil, I'm going to just put a little mark here. And I'm going to just get it. It's not going to be perfect. First of all, I don't do perfection. I try to come pretty close. But there, now I have my little mark. And I'm going to take and cut my paper off. So it's about the right size. And then when I go in to punch it again, just like we did before, slide that in there. Make sure it's lined up straight back here. And now look how cute my little tag is, perfectly centered and ready to go. Yay! Okay, let's do a little bit more stamping. So I have a piece of here. This is basic white. This is 11 inches by 4 inches wide. And let me make sure that I'm going to tell you the right measurements. Now, you can always go to my blog, BeCreativeWithCappy.com, and find the correct measurements on there. But um, I did score this. I think it's going to go this way. There we go. So I scored this at 5 and a fourth, and then 10 and 3 eighths. So like I said, it's 4 inches wide, 11 inches long, scored at 5 and a fourth, and 10 and 3 eighths. And those, the 10 and 3 eighths score line, that's going to be the top. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp down here at the bottom. I'm going to use that Wildflower Path. Whoops, I already have my stamps mounted. And I'm going to use some green Old Olive ink. Now this is just another color that's in that um, designer series paper. And I'm going to ink up this one with this so you can see this image is what I'm using here. Move my ink pad over there. You can see everything. Maybe not. But I'm going to just stamp my little flower down here. Again, I'm just setting it down and holding it firm. I'm not doing a lot of pressure. And then there we go. Let's put that green away. And then I'm going to bring in some rich raspberry ink. And these little puffy flowers. I don't even know what kind of flowers they are. I have the, <laughs> I've told you before, the only thing I'm good at is killing flowers, so I try to stay away from them. But um, I'm going to stamp this bigger one off because they come in the two sizes. There's the little one and the big one. The big one I'm going to stamp off, and then I'm going to just place it right there on that. Well, maybe I am. Let the ink sink in, Kathy. Hold on, we'll try it again, see if I can line it up. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I did okay. We're going to cover it up with the next stamp so it doesn't matter. And I'm going to do it again over here. Let that ink sink in. Take my time. That's better. And then I think there's about four little places on this stem where we need a flower. And I think I just put my... No, I missed. I thought I put my ink. I did put my finger in the ink and then touch my card. Okay, then with that little darker one, I'll show you what not to do every time on a video. But I'm going to two-step this one and just bring him in a little bit darker here. And look how cute that little flower is. Okay, I think we're done with that color. Let's go ahead and bring in um, that dark green again, that early evening evergreen. And now I'm going to stamp down here, happy birthday. And this is that go-to greetings that I said I would show you. This one here. Now this is a red rubber stamp, so it doesn't need that padding underneath. It's got built-in padding. I don't know if you can see it on the stamp, but we don't need that anymore. So I'm going to just stamp that, or that foam pad, right here. Let that ink sink in. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. And then, one more set of words. Bring back in my pad here. Up on this section, between these two score lines, I'm going to stamp those words that say, um, There's no one like you. And stamp that about, let's see if I can get it straight. Right here. And I think that's what I like about this stamp set. Nope, not that one. Not that one. This one is it has the words that go together. So you can stamp a couple greetings on your cards like that. Okay, I think we're all done 
with the dark green or the evening evergreen. Let's bring in some crushed curry and we'll just stamp some of these little flowers around those words. So we have a lot of color on the inside. I'm gonna, I have a practice, yeah, okay. I'm gonna just stamp this right about there. And look how cute that is. Last thing I'm gonna do with my inside stamping wise is I just have an early evergreen, evening evergreen marker here. And I'm gonna just take that pin tip and just kind of give my flowers a little bit of color here on the inside. There we go. Just a little bit like that. It just adds a little bit more mm, character to those flowers. Okay, now we're all done stamping. Let's go ahead and make the front of our card. So I have um, two pieces of Evening Evergreen. These are just a quarter piece of cardstock, so it's five and a half by four and a fourth. And then I have a piece of that Crushed Curry. This is, um, huh. <laughs> That's why I said go to my blog, five and a fourth by four. And then of course my designer series paper, there we go that is um, three and three fourths by five. I'm gonna just layer those together here. And then this really pretty, what is this stuff called? Window pane ribbon, checked ribbon. This is in the annual catalog, but look how well it coordinates with that evening evergreen. We're gonna go ahead and just tie this around. I'll just make a simple knot here. We'll see, it's Monday. We'll see if I'm all thumbs today. That on there. Ooh, this, this um, ribbon is really user-friendly. Look how nice my little knot is gonna turn out on the first try. Yay! Let's trim those ends down, ends down like there. Now we might have to trim those smaller. Let's see how our um, greeting goes on there. I'm going to move this over to the side a little bit there. And then now I've lost our greeting. Hmm. There he is. Nope, that's not the right one. That's a yellow one. Here's a white one. That was my practice one. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. And I'm gonna keep my dimensionals toward the top and the bottom, and that's gonna help hold my ribbon in place. And I think four should be enough, probably too many. But that way, make sure I like where my ribbon is at. Looks pretty good. And then see if it slips, yep right there across our ribbon. I'm gonna turn this ribbon, make this ribbon go a little bit more this way. Oh yeah, look how cute that is. Almost like Phoebe's. We'll add some brass butterflies in just a minute. So then, now that I have all this on there, I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of the card front here that we're gonna lay. on that top, that quarter sheet of cardstock, that evening evergreen, and then let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, I think that's really pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and assemble and put all the card together. Let me make you some workroom here. So I'm gonna fold real quick on those score lines. And I believe it needs to go this way. Come on, Kathy going to fold this the stamping together this and then I'm going to fold that little score line up here I'm going to fold it back so it looks like this when you open it looks like that now with some some strong adhesive because I don't want it to come apart because we're going to be pulling on it a little bit I'm going to put oh and guess what that one's out <laughs> I guess <laughs> since that one's gone I'm going to use um tear and tape. I really would have liked to use my stamp and seal plus, but he was all gone and I did not notice that. Okay, and take those backs off.
Thank goodness I'm an adhesive junkie and I have all kinds of adhesives. I love them all. But when we put this one down, I'm going to make sure this, which is really five and a fourth by four, your usual layer on a card, looks like, try to get it straight like that. So see when you close all of it up, it still has that nice border all the way around. And then I'm going to put some adhesive, a strong adhesive here on that tab. I'm going to try to get two pieces on there and see if we can't really get a good seal on there. I think my tape runner would have worked better, but I want a nice strong adhesive on here and stamp and seal. I just don't think that's, I want something stronger than that. There, now I have this, I'm fold this up and then I'm going to lay this card front over the base. They're going to match up perfectly. So when I lay it down like this, and remember this one is still up folded so we can lay it down and make it <laughs> let's see how I did and then there we go like that I'm gonna put a little pressure make sure that's nice and stuck down and then look when you open your card now it opens like that then we just need a little bit or a few of those brush brass something butterflies which I absolutely love use my take a pick tool here and just let's just slap a butterfly there slap a little butterfly here and maybe one more over here and there you go look how cute I'm so happy with how my card turns out I love that evening evergreen with that crushed curry on that designer series paper there you go. I hope you can see the sun has come out and put a glare on my desk. But there you go. There is that one. And then you have this one too. And then let's bring back in Phoebe's card so we can see how pretty the whole thing started. There you go. So that's what I have for you today. I hope you give this fun fold a try. If you need a list of products, they'll all be on my blog, BeCreativeWithKathy.com. The link will be below. Just give me a few more minutes so I can get that all posted. There you are. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next Monday. Bye-bye.